Got Carl, first time I've seen him in ages, and Andrew, about to take off. James has just gotten up, wherever he is, there he is. Looks alright, doesn't it? Oh, it's a great feeling. I spent a couple of minutes below launch, so I'm appreciating this. So Andy, Andrew and James are somewhere around. One of them's at my height, I think that might be James. No one's launched since me. And Carl, David, Roan and Peter are still on launch. Glad I'm up here in the nice cool breeze. Only friendly eagles this day. And this spot, I'm pretty sure it's Andrew. They're going to glide into the Obi Obi just north of the dam here. Avoid the flexion wedgie. Just started turning, joining Andrew, who was here a bit before me. Looks like I've got to climb out of here. Yeah, when this valley went into shade, I thought it could be all right. I was just below Andrew, can't see him now, but Andy's up here, about to overtake me. So I just radioed them and said, I'm winning, I'm in front. Andy and Andrew. Closest I've been to them so far. So we're going south now. It's probably about my third or fourth turn. Needed to climb here and uh, after this, I'll be heading back towards the uh, front of the Blackwell Range if I can. The other guys are over there. Feeling pretty low here, like this thermal might be my last chance. So the boys are over Mulaney, racing the CBs back to the front ridge. And I've managed to climb out from this um, spot just above the road here. We've all had a really good day. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can make it back as well. Carl's down there, pretty low. But it's hard to tell because he's below, so maybe he'll make it to the front. It'd be awesome if he could join us. He flew just past me going the other way towards Mulaney before. And that's where we're going to end up, back at Gerard's. It's looking pretty good because I'm going to climb. And the, um, the other guys, Andrew and Andy, have had a real struggle getting drifting way down this way. But they've managed to stick with it, get up and look at them. They're on their way back to the towers. So I stretched about just a tiny bit beyond the towers to get 50 k's. It's the first time I've seen the triangle calculator thing on XC track. So why not? But we've got to get back still. Bit of a shock to see Andy on that side of the hill. I'm not sure what he's doing back there. He's just popped over the front. Maybe he wasn't as low as I thought he was. And yeah, it's gotten a bit slow. The cloud's gone. But we're on the front range. Cicadas are so loud. I'm feeling like I might have screwed this up, but I've been giving, giving, I've been given another chance. Well, this is still the climb from the flats on the other side of that ridge. Sort of comes and goes. And yeah, when the sun's on the right angle, you can see a lot of spider webs in my lines. So, yeah, I got a really boring glide Andrew got back from to launch, year, like just going up on and um, uh, Andy's up on low and thinking about giving it a crack, I'm going to get as high as I can and then try and land there as well. It'll be so awesome. We've been together on and off for all day, and starting and finishing at launch would just be ideal. Next time, Carl has to join us. Andy's still battling it out on the ridge, just this side of playground, but Gerard's is down there, so I've made it. So time to have a little celebration. I probably should wait until it's straight over the top, but... Woohoo! Here comes Nick the Slowpoke. <laughs> oh wait, we'll try this way maybe. So yeah, Nick, a little bit slow, but he got there. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Try it. Maybe a square. <laughs>